Hey guys, Richard here with eBike Reviews and Adventures. Well, today is the day that a lot of you have been waiting for, patiently I might add, and I do appreciate that. But today, we're gonna take a close look and we're gonna compare the electric XP trike with the Mooncool TK1. This is gonna be a long video because I'm gonna get as detailed as I can to show you the differences between these two bikes because they are different. They are not one and the same as some people had suggested. And uh, at the end of the video, hopefully you're gonna have a better idea as to which would be the better trike for you. Let's get into the video. Okay guys, before we get started, we're gonna jump over on the computer because there's a few things online that I want to show you because uh, yeah, well, I just can't really talk about it and show you here in the garage. So let's jump over on the computer. All right guys, the first thing we're gonna take a look at is the price. So the TK1 over here is on sale for $15.99 uh, as compared to the XP trike at $14.99. Now, one thing I can say about XP is this sale price right here, $14.99, is ongoing. That's what it always has been since they launched the product. Okay, so just be aware of that. I don't know. Mooncool is a newer company. I don't know if this, whoops, if this $15.99 price is going to be their forever ongoing sale price or if it's actually going to bounce around and get back up. I would suspect it's going to stay within this range right here uh, because it's most competitive with the electric XP. Let's go over here back to the, the XP for a minute. With that, they are also giving you the cargo package and the upgraded seat and a couple other things here like the uh, bike lock and mirrors, it looks like. And the TK1 over here, I wish that didn't open up every time I did that. The TK1 over here, they are giving you uh, a helmet, a bike lock, and a water bottle holder. The front cargo and the rear cargo basket, that's included already, okay? So that's already part of that price. So just be aware of that. Another great thing about the Mooncool is it comes in five different colors, okay? We have this uh, orangey color. We have some kind of a cinnamon pink here. We have a nice slate gray, which is similar to the XP. We have a cayenne green and a white, okay? So uh, let's just leave it right there. But then over here on the XP trike, just be aware that you only have one color, uh, the gray. So yeah, you got a few more options over here. Okay, let's go back over and do a side-by-side -side comparison. All right, guys, so here we go. Uh, you know what, first glance, these two trikes look very similar to each other, and I'm going to point out those differences right now. I will tell you that we've had more time to spend with the XP trike. Uh, when we get to that part, uh, we are gonna do some riding footage, and I'll show you some differences there. Also, be aware that we do have some uh, accessories already installed on each of these, so that makes them just a little bit different as well. But we're gonna start up here in the front because this is, uh, this is you know, where you approach the bike from. So right up in the front, both have the same style headlights, okay? Exact same headlight, same baskets, okay? The basket and the basket holders are exactly the same. Moving on down, these are different tires. The Mooncool has a full three inch tire, whereas the XP has a two point, oh, I don't remember now, 2.4, 2.5 maybe or something. So it's a little skinnier tire, so be aware of that. Now, let's move around to the side here. They both feature 180 millimeter disc brakes and they both have hydraulic disc brakes, which is a nice feature for both trikes. But moving up from there, you'll notice the XP has rigid forks. There is no suspension forks on this trike, whereas the Mooncool, yeah, they offer you suspension forks to include a lockout. Okay, so you can lock that booger out right there if you needed to. So that is a significant difference between these two. Moving on back, the fenders are different, okay? Now on the XP trike, the fender is about an inch or so uh, smaller, whereas over here, it's just a little bit longer on the Mooncool. And it's also a little bit wider to accommodate the wider tire. Now as we move back here, you're gonna look at the frame and you're gonna notice that there is significant differences here. A lot of people were saying, oh, the Mooncool is just a knockoff of the XP trike built in the same factory. Well, it's always possible that it's built in the same factory, but these are still very different trikes. The Electric XP has this boxy frame, okay? We're gonna take a look at the hinge down there and the hinge latch, whereas you jump over here to the Mooncool, it's more of a rounded style frame, similar latch right there. Moving back, Mooncool has a support piece right there that gives it the extra strength, whereas over here on the Electric, it just has a bigger boxy frame style down there. They both feature water bottle holders. This one has one installed. This one does not. 
Now, before we go too far, we're going to move on up here and look at the stem and the handlebars. The stem on the Electric XP is exactly the same style stem as over here on the Mooncool. It is folding and it is adjustable right here, so you can raise and lower the handlebars. And as you'll notice, we do have the handlebars on the Mooncool just a little bit higher than the XP, uh, but those are adjustable. Hey guys, are you getting value out of this video? If so, please smash that like button right now for me. A lot of you don't like to do that, but it really helps the channel so much because it tells YouTube that the video is important to you. And the more people that smash that like button, the more people that YouTube is gonna share this video with. And I'd like this video in particular to go far and wide so people know clearly the differences between these two trikes right here. So your help is much appreciated. Moving on up, we're gonna take a look at the handlebars themselves and they are the same style handlebars on both trikes, okay? Moving on over, we're gonna take a look at the, let's look at the handle or the grips here. The Electric XP has this rubbery style grip and they are comfortable, I will mention that. And then over here at the Mooncool, we have, they are rubbery, but almost more of a, a plasticky kind of rubbery feel. Um, they still feel good and, and I like them, but uh, yeah, significantly different there. Now, while we're up here, one of the things I always like to look at, it's a simple thing, but I like to look at the wiring. And over here on the Moon Cool, the wiring is wrapped pretty decent, and it runs along and goes inside the trike right down there. And over here on the XP, again, they have good wire wrap going around, protecting all those wires. And as you can see, it runs down, and it goes inside the frame there, and you have some that runs on the outside as well. We're going to get back to the cockpit area and talk about more about that in just a moment. Let's move on down. Both trikes have a smaller chain ring, and I'll try to put that on the screen for you because I didn't look that up, but they look to be the same size chain ring on both trikes. Both trikes seem to have the same style pedal. And moving up, we're going to take a look at the seat post here and the frame as it relates to the seat post right here you can see the xp trike the seat post the frame coming back with the battery mounted on the inside and over here on the moon cool you have the same style now moving towards the back you'll start to see a few little differences here and i'm just going to show you what the frame looks like inside here you see the differential axle back there and where the motor sits as compared to the moon cool. Similar there, differential axle. I will tell you that the axle on the moon cool is a little bit shorter than the axle on the XP trike. There was some question whether or not the trouble that the XP trike has had with bearings falling out of the axle, if it is in fact the same axle on the moon cool. I asked moon cool and they told me it's a different axle. Although it looks very similar, I can tell you it is shorter so I don't know. You know, I don't know if in fact it is a different one. I hope it is because again, XP has had some trouble with bearings falling out. And once that happens with your axle, your, your trike is pretty much finished at that point. And that's unfortunate. Let's go back up here, take a look again at the, the seat post clamp and the seat post. Now electric does give you a suspension seat post, which is really nice uh, to have. So you don't have to upgrade that. Whereas over here you have the same clamp, but you don't have a suspension seat post. Mooncool does give you just a standard, um, it's a wide seat, but it does not have a backrest. Whereas the electric over here, it's got a shorter horn right here in the front. It's just as wide, but they also have a backrest. And that's part of their upgrade package. So if you catch it on sale when they're offering that, it is kind of nice to have. Getting down here, let's take a look. The battery on the Electric XP is a 14 amp hour. Whereas over here on the moon cool, it is a 15 amp hour battery. Now, one thing I don't care for on the electric XP, when you get ready to ride the, the trike, the first thing you have to do is reach back here and you have to wake up the battery by pushing the button and holding it a few seconds before you can power it on. Over here on the moon cool, you don't have to do that, okay? You don't have to push the button to wake it up. It's always ready to go. All you have to do is hit the power button up here and you are ready to ride. Let's talk about the motor for a second here. Both motors are 500 watt hour motors. 
The Electric XP advertises that it peaks at 1,000, I believe it was like 42, whereas the Mooncool says that it peaks at 750 watts. So slightly less power perhaps on the Mooncool, but I'm gonna question that as well, and I'm gonna show you that in some of my writing footage, how that, that kind of comes into question. Torque is a, an important factor uh, on motors, and I can tell you on the Mooncool, it's, they advertise 55 Newton meters, and even that, it seems low to me. But then on the XP trike, I don't recall uh, what the Newton meter is on the torque. I looked for it on the website and I, I couldn't find it again. I know it used to be out there, but it is something kind of low. And I don't remember if it's even as much as 60, possibly, but it really comes down to riding experience. And I can tell you, well, I'm gonna show you in the riding footage just how that compares. Going back here, we're going to take a look at the rear basket again. So the rear baskets are exactly the same on both of these trikes. When we get down and look at the fenders, the Mooncool fenders are different and they are just a little bit bigger compared to the electric fenders right here. Now I've got the front of the bike pretty much lined up with each other and we're going to move back here and I'm going to show you one thing right here. It does look like this, these bikes are just about the same. I would say maybe the Mooncool is about an inch longer. And I think it really comes down to the fenders because the fenders kind of stick out just a little bit. It's a slightly different design. Other than that, the reflectors on the fenders, they are the same. However, the light package on the back is not the same. Right here, you have your standard brake light, uh, tail light. And over here on the Mooncool, you have a much nicer brake light, tail light, that includes blinkers. Both of these trikes do have the trailer hitch option, option, so you could attach a trailer, like a pet trailer or a cargo trailer, and be able to pull that around with you. Since we're back here and we're talking fenders, a lot of you are fully aware that when the electric ships out their trikes, a lot of them have been coming in damaged because the fenders are smushed against the tires and the packaging is, is just not that great and needs to be improved. The packaging I feel on the Mooncool was better because everything on this uh, trike was packaged in foam or wrapped in foam, and I just felt that it was better. However, we did have a little bit of damage on one of the fenders where it was bent in just a little bit, and I was easily able to just straighten that out by pulling on it, and it was an instant fix, whereas the Electric XP the tail lights were smashed pretty good. And so the, the fenders had to be replaced. So I do feel like the packaging uh, on the Mooncool was better. All right, let's go up here and take a look at the cockpit area. Here you can see the button pad on the Electric XP, kind of simple. It's a three button button pad up and down for your pass. And then there's your power button. And then they have a display right here in the middle. And then over here, you do have your twisty throttle, which I prefer the twisty throttle. The Electric XP does have a brake on the handlebar, which is nice. But over here on the Mooncool, there is no parking brake. So that is a miss on their part. But over here, you do have the twisty throttle again, but you also have your blinker switch convenient right there. You have your horn button right underneath that. Now you notice that the display is not in the middle on the Mooncool as it is on the Electric, but I do have a cell phone holder here and it gives you more real estate up front to be able to attach a cell phone holder. Whereas over here, the cell phone holder is right next to the display. And that's because on the Mooncool, they offer you a slightly smaller display and it's just a three button display, but it gives you all the information that you would want. And it's nice and convenient here to be able to change your pass levels, uh, you know, up and down. The pass levels are indicated by a bar, whereas over here on the electric, it is indicated by a number. Let's get this powered up. Oh darn, hold on. We gotta push the battery button to wake it up. There we go. That's a good example. Kinda get tired of doing that. There we go, boom. And there's our pass uh, levels right there, one through five. Okay, so just considering what these uh, two trikes uh, look like, and you know, I hope uh, that overview kind of helps you a little bit to show you that uh, almost exactly the same size, um, many of the same features, but not quite. Just overall kind of help you understand the build quality of both of these. 
I feel the build quality, honestly, it feels a little bit better on the Moon Cool. Okay, I'll, I'll just say that. I don't know, there's just something about it that just feels a little more robust than some of the things, some of the components and things that I found over here on the electric. Uh, you'll notice that the brakes are on back here because we have it powered up, and that's because we have the parking brake engaged, which is kind of nice. So when it's on and the parking brake is engaged, you see the lights. Again, that's not an option over here because you don't have a parking brake. So let's just go ahead and recap um, a couple of main differences real quick. Suspension forks, no suspension forks, 14 amp hour battery, 15 amp hour battery. You have to wake this one up. You don't have to wake this one up. You have a parking brake over here. You have no parking brake over here. Slightly hi higher output on the motor. You know, that 1042 watts versus the 750 maximum peak over here. Oh, here's one more. Here's one more difference I want to point out to you. Take a look at the brake back here. On the XP, the brake is mounted uh, right back here on the axle. And if you notice that the caliper is right here on top, whereas interestingly, over here on the moon cool, the caliper is actually mounted on the bottom right down there. See that? So just another difference there in how that is set up in the back. Again, very similar in a lot of ways, but yet pretty, you know, also kind of some significant differences here as well uh, as to uh, how these two trikes look. I do like that the Mooncool comes in multiple colors, so you have some options there. I do wish they had some different colors than what they offer. Um, you know, cinnamon, cinnamon pink, maybe the cayenne green. I'm not a fan of those, but that's okay. Maybe you are, you know, maybe, maybe that's your preference. Let me know down below what you think of those color choices. But hey, at least they're giving you choices, whereas electric, uh, they're not giving you any at all. Uh, they just give you the gray. And I do like the color gray. I like that a lot. Okay, guys, that's going to be it for this part of the video. Next, we're going to go outside and we're going to ride both of these and kind of see how they perform. So let's jump to that. All right, guys, we're going to take this for a quick ride and show you a couple of things. So I'm going to hop on the moon cool here and power it back up. All right, one thing you'll notice is uh, just how quickly you can get up to speed here. Oh, I'm going to put it in pedal assist one is all I need to do. And I'm just going to do throttle only and it really ramps up to speed rather quickly. And the top speed of the moon cool is about 16 miles per hour is what they advertise. Again, kind of depending on your body weight, your riding conditions. I'm at 15 and a half and we're slowly accelerating. We're gonna go ahead and do a brake test right here. Yeah, you know, I try not to lock up the brakes, um, but they grab really good uh, really good feeling there. I'm going to zip back this way and let's stop right here and go ahead and do some pedaling. So I'm going to leave it in pedal assist one. I'm not going to use the throttle and I've got about a full rotation there and then it kicks off. So pedal assist one and you can see my legs how quickly they do turn here in pedal assist one and that's giving us about seven and a half miles per hour. Okay and that's as far as we're going in pedal assist one. Jump it up to pedal assist two and we can go a little faster and let's see what's it going to give us about nine looks like about nine miles an hour 9.3 maybe publicist is three a little faster still we're going to move on up that's giving us uh, 11 about 11 and a half i'm starting to ghost pedal now though and you can see my legs are moving pretty fast so for some of you that's going to be important if i keep it at about 11 miles an hour i can keep up with the pedals Let's slow down, we're gonna turn around here. So again, we're still in pedal assist three. Get back up to speed. There's 10, there's 11. I'm gonna jump it up to pedal assist four. And now I'm doing a lot of ghost pedaling. I just can't keep up with it, we're at 12. And beyond that, I can't do much. So uh, it's gonna be throttle only to, to go at the higher speeds. Okay, now we're on the electric XP, and we're in pedal assist one. We're going to do throttle only. And you'll notice a significant difference in how it performs. It crawls, 
which is good for some of you folks who are maybe uh, you know less confident or unstable and you want something that can go super super slow well the XP allows you to do that pedal assist one is going to keep us limited to right about four miles per hour but again it's a nice slow progressive to get up to that point nice slow turn and pedal assist one let's go ahead and bump it up to pedal assist two so now we're cruising along again throttle only and pedal assist two is going to give us what's it going to give us six we're going you know it's going to continue to crawl up real nice and slow seven and a half we're going to hit eight taking a long time to hit there so we're now we're going to hit nine in pedal assist two and we're still climbing still going slow but we're still climbing so nine and a half so we reached nine and a half miles an hour pedal assist two spinning the round pedal assist three full throttle only and again we're just going to take us up here real nice and slow there's nine moving on up to ten ten point one ten ten and a half there we go. We're, we are bouncing between 10.1 and 10.5. And there's 10. Oh, there's 11. We just hit 11. And that looks like it's topped out at 11. So let's go ahead and turn around here now. We're going to continue going throttle only. Pedal assist 4. A little more zip in pedal assist 4. So we're speeding up a little bit faster there to get up to speed. We're already at 11. We're hitting 12. We're hitting 13. And we're at 13.6, 13.5, 13.5 for me in pedal assist four. We're going to turn around again, bump it up to pedal assist five. Pedal assist five gives you a little more pep, okay? So now you can kind of zip on up there much faster. We're already at 12, and we're hitting 13 right there. And this maxes out at about 14, so there's 13.7. Bouncing around there, 13.7, 13.5, 13.7. That's about all it's going to give me with my body weight and conditions. I've also got a bit of a headwind. It's real windy today. So I don't know how much you're picking that up on camera, but it is windy today. So here we go in downwind. Picking up the speed pretty quick there, 12. Let's see if we can hit the top speed. There's 13, 13.7, 13.6, 13.7. Nope. Can't quite hit 14 miles per hour, but that's okay. So the point of this is this trike accelerates much slower. So for some of for some folks, you you want that and you're gonna feel more confident because it doesn't feel quite as zippy. And just as a reminder, uh, just to uh, jump on the moon cool right here again, just to kind of show you. Hit the throttle and go. Yeah, so we're going to hit the throttle and go, and we kind of get up to speed rather quickly. We're already at 11, 12, 13, 14, uh, almost 15, there's 15, 15 and a half. So, a little zippier, and some of you will appreciate the zippiness of it. We're going to pedal back here. I'm in pedal assist four, but I can't keep up. I'm going to go down to pedal assist three. There we go. Okay, on the electric again, we're going to do uh, pedal only. So there's pedal assist one. So about about a full rotation and then you kind of feel that motor slowly and gently kick in so now we're under power here just a little bit and we're doing about our top speed for pedal assist one about four miles an hour there nice and comfortable slow gonna jump up to pedal assist two we can go a little faster just pedaling along you can see how quickly i'm pedaling and we're doing about almost eight there we get eight, we're gonna hit eight and a half. Almost nine there. Putting a little effort into it, nine. 
a little more effort into it nine and a half and that's pedal assist two let's go ahead and get this turned around we're going to continue going in pedal assist two a little throttle get me started there we go we're going to go ahead and bump it up to pedal assist three pedaling along so 10 miles an hour starting to get a little ghost pedaling there there's 11 starting to get quite a bit of ghost pedaling at 11 miles per hour pedal assist three and you can see how quickly I'm moving here so yeah both trikes are single speed so when you have a single speed bike or trike you're kind of limited in what uh, you know what you can do with the pedaling and I'm gonna go ahead and slip in the uh, the brake test here on the electric XP because we almost forgot that we're doing about it'll get up there 14 miles an hour or so so I'm gonna hit the brakes right now and I locked up the brakes wasn't intending to but I did lock up the brakes one thing with the XP and I can't figure out what it is but you get a really hard clunk uh, on the back end when you apply those brakes I'm gonna show you that again it's it's coming from the left brake or excuse me it's coming from the left side of the axle uh, not the brake because there's only one brake on the axle but hear that really hard clunk I'm not sure what that is okay we're going to start with electric here and one of the things i wanted to show you is uh, the power and just what the differences are and the best way i can do that because i don't have a lot of hills is to skip right down here at the end of the driveway now i'm going to put the rear tires of this trike right here in the dip at the end of the driveway now with the the xp with it being in pedal assist one using throttle only i can't get out of of this little bit of a ditch right here okay however if i put it up all the way in pedal assist five it allows me to crawl out on its own and then i can get going up the driveway pretty quick and the driveway is about a three percent grade so just be aware of that okay now we're going to test the moon cool and i'm just going to zip around right here and get turned around same scenario i'm going to hit this little bump at the end of the driveway put my rear tires there and i'm in pedal assist one now the electric xp you had to be in pedal assist five in order to get the full performance of that motor whereas the moon cool pedal assist one i can do full throttle and it allows me to get up out of that ditch and get moving you probably hear the birds those are some really big birds going by right now all right so one of the differences and i want to point this out because i want to be fair to electric as much as i can and that is with the electric xp your power and your speed of the trike is associated or is tied to your pedal assist level okay so that's why pedal assist one didn't work because pedal assist one is designed to be much slower and lower powered where you have to pump it up to five in order to get the full power whereas on the moon cool uh, it's programmed differently and you get full throttle full speed full power everything uh, out of pedal assist one you don't have to adjust and go through pedal assist two three four and five unless you're pedaling but if you're just doing throttle only you can just leave it in pedal assist one and you're going to get the full throttle full speed of the trike all right so let's talk about stability for a second here and then we'll do some testing here as well I did this on the uh, review videos for each of the trikes but we will compare them right here and that is we're going to go up and try to do about the same angle on both of these trikes and you'll kind of see how they respond I'm going to go through the grass down through here we're going to do this a couple of times just to make sure we have a good test I'm going to try to hit the same angle same same location all right that's twice let's jump over here on the moon cool and see how that responds so we'll get all right trying to come in at the same location the same angle try to do about the same speed and if you notice the rear tire didn't come off the ground I'm gonna do that a couple more times because I don't want somebody coming and say oh you're doing something different okay so we're gonna do it a little slower there the wheel came off the ground a little slower that time I'm gonna do it again with the moon cool maybe go just a little bit slower still yep still comes off the ground there 
But if you notice, it's still stable. I mean, my goodness, it's still really stable. All right, so we're gonna cut some donuts right here and just see what it looks like. And just so you know, I just adjusted both seats so they're the same height, so I'm, we're dealing with the same center of gravity here, okay? Someone mentioned that in one of my other videos and asked whether or not I had done that, and which was a good point. So we're just gonna cut some really sharp donuts right here. And with the moon cool, I'm not pedaling either, I'm just using the throttle, but you know, we're doing about two and a half, three miles an hour. And you can kind of see how much I'm leaning. And you can cut a really, really tight donut here with this thing. Yeah, the wheel came off the ground a little bit. But overall, it's pretty stable. And I'm not having to lean a whole lot. I am leaning some, but I'm not having to do a whole lot. Whoa, here we go. Now let's check out the Electric XP. Now with Electric XP, cut some donuts. I can tell you there's something about the steering. It feels a little harder to steal, to steer. Just seems a little tighter. I'm not sure what that would be, but yeah, both bikes are, I would say, you know, pretty close to the same. My first video when I was riding the Moon Cool, for some reason, it just felt tighter. It felt, it felt more stable. And I attributed that to maybe being that it has wider tires. Uh, that's going to contribute to it, but it also has a shorter axle. And surprisingly, and I'll show you that in here in a few moments, you know, it's, it is just a little bit shorter. Yeah, I'm not sure what it is and with the turning here. It just feels, and I, I didn't really notice that before, but just going at a slow speed, these tires really grip, and it just makes it hard to turn, harder, not hard, just, just harder to turn as compared to the moon cool. Yes, yeah, so you know what it feels like? It feels like there's a lot of weight pushing down on the front. I mean, I'm not saying there is, that's just the feeling that it has because these, this steering is so easy to, so much easier to turn than the electric. I don't know, I'm not sure what it is because I really don't think there's much of a difference in how the front desi is designed and whether or not there's more weight pushing down in that front tire. But clearly, the Moon Cool is much easier to, to turn. Okay, looking from this angle, I'm gonna show you. I've, I've got the right side tires lined up as close as I can get them right there. And then you jump over here on the left side and you'll easily be able to see just how much more uh, the Moon Cool is, you know, it's more narrow. Let's do it this way. Maybe the, the sun will be more cooperative for us. There you go. You can see that tire and how much it sticks out back there on the XP versus the Moon Cool. You know, they're, they're lined up there pretty close. So again, the Moon Cool, uh, you know, when you measure it, it's, I don't remember what it was, an inch and a half, two inches, uh, more narrow. Well, it didn't mention too much about the brakes uh, other than that they were hydraulic. Be aware that when you get to your XP trike, for some reason, they conveniently or inconveniently douse your brake rotor down there with oil and uh, you're gonna have to you know clean all that off real good first whereas over here on the moon cool there was no lubrication or anything on that disc so it was ready to go right out of the box also with my personal experience with the trike and because it comes lubricated on the brakes I was unable to stop effectively uh, when I first got it was applying a lot of pressure on the brake handle Something broke up inside here, inside the brake handle, requiring me to replace the whole brake. Where so far, I haven't had any type of issues like that with the Mooncool brakes. The Mooncool brakes does have Star Union, which I understand is to be uh, a pretty good um, brand of brakes. I'm not real familiar with them. This is the first one I believe I've had on the channel. Whereas over here, the electric, you know, I think they're just electric branded. Um, it's either that or they're just a no-name brand, but there's there's no names on the brakes, so I don't know what they're using. Okay, another thing I want to point out here real quick is that the step-over height on the XP is a little bit lower. It's about 14 or so inches, 
and over here on the moon cool it is about 15 inches so just slightly higher uh, step over height another thing that's slightly different is the moon cool uses the chow yang brand tires the 20 by threes whereas these over here i i think those are electric branded tires i'm not sure there's nothing written on the sidewall but they are 20 by 2.6 is what they have here so again a little more narrow all right and i have my tape measure out so we're going to do a quick measurement here from the outside tire to outside tire on the moon cool it looks like it's going to be about 27 maybe 27 and a half inches whereas outside tire to outside tire on the xp we are looking at yeah about 29 inches okay guys before we wrap up this video a couple other points of interest here uh, electric has been around for just a few years now four or something like that now moon cool is a newer company i don't know how customer service is going to be with moon cool but so far my interaction with them has been been very professional and good electric uh, my interaction with them hasn't been as positive because they outsource their marketing to a third company i believe and then you have to go through them as an influencer in my position i have to go through them in order to try to interact with the company and and it just didn't have a positive experience with them at all uh, so i ended up purchasing this one um, they did give me like a hundred and i think it was like 150 dollars discount when i purchased it because i kept telling them hey i'm going to be making videos about it uh, whereas moon cool they did send it to me for free so i appreciate moon cool for doing that if you've been on my channel for just a little while you know that i'm going to say whatever it is i want to say and uh, my reviews are completely honest no money exchanges hands behind the scene or anything like that i make these videos strictly for your benefit for my enjoyment and uh yeah so there's no behind the scenes uh influence at all uh, neither of these companies get to see the videos prior to me posting them online or anything like that so they have no input now i know a lot of you are going to be asking hey so which one should i buy i can't answer that for you that's going to be completely up to you I personally like the Moon Cool better. Okay, there's just several little features about it that I prefer. I do wish it had a parking brake. That's the only thing that I'm missing on the Moon Cool. Um, over here on the electric, still it's been pretty decent for us. Once we got past some of the shipping problems and the repairs and things, uh, Mrs. Adventure, you know, right now she is leaning towards the electric over the Ad Motor E310, which is another video altogether. Uh, I will tell you that that she does kind of like this one better than that one. Uh, part of it is just the stability, overall stability, and uh, she just likes how it feels. But Mrs. Adventure has not been on the moon cool, so uh, you know we don't know if she's going to like that one over the electric, anything different. I'll be sure to let you know when she get, is able to get out and ride that one. So that's going to be it, I believe, for this video. I tried to cover everything uh, that I felt was important that you would want to know. Certainly, there's probably going to be something very obvious that I overlooked. I apologize. If so, make sure you comment down below and let me know what that is. I'm sure some of you will. If you have questions about either of these, you know, I'll, I'll try to, you know, I'll try to do some more testing if I can. It's busy around here, but I'll try to answer those questions about these as well. There's going to be links down below for both of these, uh, so you can go and check them out for yourself. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for sticking around. I would really appreciate it, guys if you would give me a thumbs up, okay? Give me that thumbs up, maybe drop a comment down below because that really helps YouTube to uh, know that this video is important to you and they push it out to more people and that really helps my channel to grow and that is appreciated very much. So until the next video, you guys ride safe.